Hi, my name is Melinda and I'm going to show you how to take different photographs and merge them into one. This demonstration is going to show you how to take one photograph and place it into another to make it appear as if the entire photograph was taken the way that you had intended it to be. Here I have two files. I have a dog and I have a photograph of a beach. Both images were taken off of the internet and if you look up here you can see there's some writing. I don't want this writing so I'm going to crop it. First thing, let's go to the top of the screen and click on View and then Toolbars. You're just going to slide a little bit down until you come to the word Image. Place a check mark beside that and then you're going to notice on the right hand side of your screen you now have the Image Toolbars. Click on OK. I don't like them in this position so I'm just going to move them over to the top up here. You can leave them wherever you want um, and it's just a little bit easier for me to work with. So first thing I want to do is I want to crop this image because I don't like these uh, little words up here. I'm going to click on the rectangle and the rectangle will now allow me to draw a rectangle around here. I'm just going to draw it in the image file and uh, let go. Once I've done that, I can move my new photograph out of the way, click on the old one, and press delete on my keyboard. And now my brand new picture no longer has the writing because it's been cropped. With this next picture, you're going to notice that there is a binding box. And if I place it onto the photograph, it's actually just showing me the little black dots, which tells me that the image file of the dog is behind the image file of this uh, scenery. So to bring it to the front, just go to the top of the screen and you'll see there's a little arrow that shows you that it's to the front. And over here, you see there's a little arrow that shows that the image is going to the back. So since I want to bring the image to the front, that's what I'm going to do. Just click on that button. You'll see now that this dog has a binding box around it. And therefore, if I wanted to merge these two photographs together, I would not get a good result. So what I need to do is just move my doggy down here, and I'm going to do a tracing around him. If you do not know how to use the magic wand, there is a video in the link section showing you how. I'm just going to use it quickly, and I'm just going to create an outline of this doggy. And um, once it's at the position that I like it, just a little bit more. Okay, now that my doggy has been outlined, I'm just going to click on the dog to select it. And I'm going to go up here to this button, which is the Personal Path button. Personal Path means any shape that you have created that has not been predestined with the software. You can easily now just click on a cut line. And you're going to notice when you click on a cut line, you'll get this new box. It says include region in bitmap. The answer is no. You don't move your doggy out of the way, and this is the image you've cut out. This is your original image, which you can now delete, and you can delete the cutting lines around it. You will see that there's these little black lines that go around the image, and that's just to let you know that you've taken it out of another image. They will disappear once you blend it into the photograph. So first of all, I'm going to place the doggy around this position. I want him to be a little bit smaller. He's just a little bit too big. And I want him to face in the opposite direction. So I'm going to click on the letter M on my keyboard. And you'll see the transformation box appears and mirror is highlighted. It doesn't matter where you put the dot. If I put it here, the dog is going to turn in the uh, side directions. If I put it up here, he'll turn upside down. I'm just going to put it in the side direction and click on apply and you can see that the doggy has now been positioned the way that I wanted him to be. I'm just going to put his paws kind of by the water to make it look like he's ready for a little drink. And now all I need to do is blend these two images together. If you go up here, let's just close this, if you go up here you'll see that we have this rubber stamp. It's really a merge button. Click on the image you want to merge and then click on the original photograph you want to merge it into. Once you've done that, you just click on the select element button and you move your doggy out of the way. And he is now in the photograph. So if I move this photograph around, you'll see that the doggy will not fall apart. He's now part of the photograph. If I click on the doggy again and click on the mirror button and this time mirror him one more time, I'm going to actually make him just a little bit smaller and I'm going to put him up here on this rock. Let's just get a little bit of a better view of this image, so I'll just draw an imaginary box around this. 
I'm going to just make him a tiny bit smaller than that. And now that he's on this rock, all I'm going to do is click on this merge, click once on that photograph, and then click once on the original photograph. Click on the Select Element button, move him out of the way, delete him if I want to, and there we have a brand new photograph of a doggy on a beach and a doggy on a rock. And this is uh, one of the quick ways of putting people into photographs or animals or just cutting yourself out and putting yourself behind the Statue of Liberty or the Eiffel Tower, anything else you want. Now, if you noticed, when I had this doggy originally, I did have a white box around it, which made it really easy to vectorize. If you have a dog uh, with many different colors around him, or even a person, then what you'll need to use is the Segment from Path button. And let's just pretend I had a picture here. You would hold down your uh, left mouse button and you would just draw a line. And you'd keep letting go, and you can see you can create all kinds of interesting designs this way. Once you come back to the starting point, your image will connect and then it would be basically the same thing. You could then take this image of whatever uh, person it is, and then of course you would use the personal path, you would click on here, and then you would say um, no to including it into bitmap, and then you would just place your image into here and you'd stamp it, and you would have exactly the same image that I would have here, where you combine two different images or one image into a photograph and create a different photograph. And this is great if you're doing print and cuts or just if you want to uh, add a different feature to a photograph that it was missing in the first place. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca.